Mars transit astrology, the Mars in Pisces. I don't know about you. I don't know about you, but see, I'm Mars ruled. And I'm really feeling low energy. I guess it's something I should check all around. They can't blame it on Mars, but I happen to think that when Mars goes into Aries on the 1st of May, it's going to be such a different um, vibration. Our See, Mars rules our physical. I think I try to fit talk about this um, our physical ambition like that fire our willpower and it being in Pisces is it's it's pretty darn relaxed to tell you what right now kind of like doing the backstroke in the middle of the ocean or something and you have no choice to do that because I don't know about you but for me it's been a lot of energy pardon me a lot of energies and my guides are telling me, I mean, a lot of the suggestions just says, I mean, really, it's just, don't be afraid to take a break, heal, don't feel bad that there is nothing going on, you know, but certainly uh, don't pass up opportunities if they show up, if you really need something, like, I know I need them. Um, a higher paying job <laughs> right but getting back to the good old astro god you know this month the um, Saturn conjunct Mars was bad enough right it, but we have it in Pisces and so let's see today's April 12th I'll be printing this on the 15th sorry about the delay I should be posting them as I make them, but the truth is, is I, I kind of want to make sure that people are seeing something every day, and I try to release something every day. I want to make sure I'm editing it and making it less personal or harsh, if that's possible. I think that um, some of the emotional outbursts and sudden shocking emotional outbursts are something that people appreciate now and then maybe <laughs> pardon my my total lethargy you know i maybe that's a, a libra quality too that now we have all these opposing planets let's look at it you know we have that sun that creeped into the last decan of aries which is opposing libra and it's always a challenge both of them are challenging each other a lot um, we have the mercury still going retrograde here it's just poking along still in the last decan which is 23 and then it's going to go all the way down to 16 by the 26th more like the 24th mercury will go direct and forward and that's when all of the that's when you should sign papers you should not be signing papers anytime and during a retrograde Mercury, and that was starting April 1st, and now it's going to end on the 24th of April. So just whatever. It's okay to, like, um, anything with re in it, like if you're registering, registering, or regulating, or um, responding, then it's good to to write your notes and sign those papers to kind of like recognize, right? To read, see it and redo it. But if it's something new, forget it. Give it, give it another, um, at the end of the month, see if it's a good idea and if it even is something that would, was actually going to connect. But anyway, um, That's a factor, you know, I've seen some things going on in, in my personal life where, you know, I, um, being Mars ruled and having it in Pisces and conjunct Saturn, that's, that's, that's a damper. <laughs> Sorry. In other words, I've just been, I'm, I'm okay. Wouldn't you love to have energy, you know, that 
I'm telling you, I think it's going to be a difference between night and day when Mars goes into Aries. It, but it's not going to do that, like I said, not before. When it conjuncts Pisces, this means, when I mean it's conjunct Neptune in Pisces, this means that Mars is going to be on top of Neptune. It's, it's a, you know, I've been playing some amazing music, and I think I'll record some of that more of it. I love that. It gives me great energy to do that. I love being around my animals. I mean, that's Piscean thing. You know, any kind of thing that you can grab a hold of that will give you communication from another source other than your own mind, right? <laughs> it's called the truth out there besides for um, that thing going on. But anyway, just really, um, it's bad enough. Um, now we have I'm telling you, it's just the physical uh, ambition, the inner feeling, really, with Mars in the 12th house and Pisces conjunct Saturn doing a little jig there, especially the conjunction with Neptune, but it's still being in Pisces in, in the 12th house. For everybody, it's a big, with that, it's a big healing time, and that means get some rest, and, you know, you, you could feel extra oceanic you know well, however you take that you know um, you know really just kind of um, uh, no structure you know it's good to try to get a structure but i think when mars moves into aries there's actually going to be an a ambition because it's just going to be a totally different energy that's all i gotta say you know, the, the the will and the ambition is going to shift. And that's just how it is this year. That's just how it is. It's like pulling out of of winter time, kind of. That's what Pisces is, is the end of winter. And anyway, thanks for going along this ride with me. I am dealing with personal stuff in my life. You know, we always feel that, you know, I imagine with Neptune in Pisces, you know, it's easy to feel the Piscean energy. We talked about this before, which is to feel um, like that you're not all that, you know, like it was all for naught or that you're just useless or grievous or sad, depressed, all that kind of negative emotion stuff, especially just too much emotion, just always sopped up and soaking. Sorry. <laughs> and it's like, forget that too. Forget about it. Notice it. Notice it. It's like, oh yeah, the tendency to beat yourself up. And it's, it's like, no. You know, for sure, on top of things that might have not gone too well because we have a way of communicating that is still beyond our capacity to appreciate if it's spontaneous that's what i have experienced and and i've been i've been like okay what really oh let's look at the bigger picture because it helps because whoever's involved there could be um Communication happening beyond just what gets us in trouble as far as our flapping lips and, and whatever we do with that. See, no communication is, it says a lot more than some, you know, is also communication. And um, I would like to get on a better, talking about communication, I would like to get on a better uh, connection with people. I know that I seem unreal to a lot of people. Part of the interruption. Um, but they just, you know, I can respect that. I can respect that people think that I'm unreal. Um, a lot of people aren't for me, and I, they're being unreal for me. <laughs> if they don't think I'm real, it's just everybody is unique and can't be compared to. And, and that's what's um, unreal about me, I guess, is I'll, I'll say, well, um, I'm, I'm not half as interested in the things that you are, and I know that it's the same with you to me. So how do we, 
I don't know. I, it, it just feels like, oh, God, I, can, I feel like, I'm, you know, property owning. And it's like I would really love for this to work out. But how does it work out? I don't have family. I hate this fucking conversation. Because I like my privacy. You know, I do. I like my privacy. And I like what little love I have in my life. I'm, I'm trying to cherish it. But now... <laughs> With Neptune opposing our Venus or squaring the Venus, um, I have it opposing. So, uh, uh, yeah, that's right. It's not a Mars square Venus that I will be experiencing along with Neptune. But when it hits 23, it's a damn square for my Venus. It's an oppose my Venus. And I've been dealing with that, like, polarity. Like, it's it, the way I describe it is... Well, with particularly the Neptune opposing my Venus is um, in Pisces, the Pisces, Venus and Virgo. It's just, uh, yeah, with my romantic life or any of my, of my, like my dreams hooked into my joy, I guess, or what I love. It, it's very kind of foggy. It's uh, what I mean is like it's something has happened and I choose to look at the silver lining. That's why that's the way I describe it. You can either dwell on the black clouds or you can look at the silver lining and, and the way that the light is going. And I'm just choosing to I'm not saying that there's not black clouds. and I'm not saying that there isn't any amazing moments of silver lining. All right. So next what we'll have is. For everybody, when Neptune goes into Aries next year, year 2025, and we won't talk about that yet, but you're going to hear a lot of people trying to creep up on it and go, oh my God, hey, you know what's happening, and uh, it's not what you think is going to happen, that's for sure. Aries, the Mars-ruled sign, we're going to have a Mars conjunct Neptune at the end of the month on the 29th. That's a kind of a feel of that energy, but it's in Pisces. See, but when Neptune goes into Aries, it's like having Pisces doing the Mars conjunction. It really is because Mars rules Aries and then Neptune rules Pisces. And then when Neptune goes into Aries, there's a, it's a Mars ruled Neptune. And that tells me that the spiritual awakening will be backed by warfare, that we will, it, it's, I don't want to see a lot of astrologers and we kind of hope it, especially like Pam Gregory, she's an older woman and it's kind of sad because it never pans out completely that a, a total explosion happens or a civil war break, breaks out or a total collapse of, or even a, a catastrophe, an earthly catastrophe happens. Too bad, you know, it just really hasn't, hasn't happened. But it's like they're always mentioning that, well, there could be an earthquake or there could be a collapse. Or there, you know, a bomb can go off. I'm like, well, you guys, what is something? Actually, something great might happen. Mars conjunct Neptune means the most mystical actions like aggressive mystical thing might happen it might be a miracle you need to stay open for a miracle all month and especially at the end of the month by the 29th if you're lucky you you're able to <laughs> i was gonna say live in a dream world just like me um, but really if you're lucky you're gonna just give in to how that Life is but a dream, and don't take, don't um, be too expecting about like um, anything because a miracle could happen. You could get a, a sudden, uh, you could find yourself doing something that is so beneficial, but it's like um, it's not orientated to money. Well, give it up, give up all the things that are so beneficial, but it's not orientated to money making. That's just about everything good, kids. You want to learn how to, what music really does for you? Like what playing the drums would do for you or playing the violin? Forget it. Just, um, 
it's not going to make you any money when you spend time after time after time trying to get the lick right or the beat right. You could be making money instead, which is to say, here, cut off all your nerve endings and go dead. Just be the walking dead and go and be a binary ro robot. Just click in how many hours, how many dollars. There you go. In, you know, it's either on or off, right? Ones and zeros, ones and zeros. God, exciting. I can't wait to show the kids what our accomplishment is there. Thanks for sitting through this. See, I'll, I'll warn everybody. Yes, when <laughs> it's been a whole fucking two years. Some 1,700 videos, perhaps, getting close, that I've been doing under the influence of a Neptune opposed by Venus and now Mars. Mars, are we ready for this? I don't have my roll of toilet paper to tell you. I mean, I'm dead serious about this, but I, if you notice, I switched over and you wish. Your real life, you want to get spiritual with us, you want to really know what reality is like, you want to get your fucking concepts down. This is the nature of reality right here. This is the ultimate truth. I'm just laying it down right now because I'm feeling really insecure. It's like, God, at the very least, the Buddha could just, just stick it in their face. Ultimate truth, it being right now, if you want to have an experience, come to... Whew, boy, I hate doing that, by the way. It's not it's ever since the some of the transition that I've gone through with the Aries, all Aries, is, we're not supposed to be slapping ourselves around for anybody, nobody anymore. We're giving too much and we're getting way too little. Always. Back to just starting over. It's always now. Don't worry. Please take a deep breath. I mean, it's not that... Um, see, this is very, very impactful. Look at it. It's available. Um, many, many, many. See, this is just might as well be moments that we get to embrace but really it's just one amazing now that you have no idea you can't define it with a single word or a symbol that's what um your mind or any next narcissist doesn't like they they feel wheezy and what can we do about them they can't decompress at any time it seems like uh uh, I so I was just gonna warn everybody. Ooh, it's already kind of happening, right? It's been happening for the last two years. You wouldn't know, and God have mercy on me when Neptune goes over my ascendant. Six degrees is my ascendant. Here, let's just for fun. Let's just find out when does Neptune hit six degrees. See, I'm gonna start and look. See, I'm, I just popped over to May 26th, uh, May 2026. Neptune is now at three degrees, Aries. Now let's go over to May 2000, uh, May, June 2027. There we have Neptune at six degrees, Aries, in June of 2027. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for a complete complete um, vaporization, I guess. That's what Neptune can do for us. Whew, boy. Turn into a, I'm just going to turn into a body of water. Really, I already know what that is. You know, I deal with a Neptune. Thanks for sitting with me with this Mars. And whew, just I'm completely astonished. Um, anyway, um, what am I astonished about? Well, it, that's not even the word I need to use. I'm, um, it's too overwhelming, you know. Um, what we're about to see if we stay alive over the next seven years. See, my generation is the strongest generation on Earth because we're not only surviving a lot of stuff that is is coming about say um just handling the lies that we have to like up chuck and then uh, if anybody of, of us um got <laughs> this far <coughs> pardon me especially in the over the 
the past couple of years, right? We have yet to see what breaks out because and we could already we already know we already know there's there's something called the split happening and uh, uh, you know um, call it time activated medication or just these planets the cosmos see the thing is about whatever is doing an experiment on top of the fact that we're being influenced by a higher um, vibrational frequency. It, you know, they're, they're, it's just an idea. They're, they're trying, they're just, um, all it is is putting both in one jar and shaking it up and with their idea, see with um, putting an agent over it, if you can understand what I'm saying, the vaxes, you know, peppering that across the whole population which um, is under under a natural process of awakening now this is um you can argue that it's degenerating or regenerating because we have generations i talk about my generation which is the pluto generation now i heard somebody associate pluto as the degenerator or the generator because that's kind of what we're looking at we have the beginning of the Aquarius age, which is shown by the later planet, the um, Pluto going into Aquarius, which is going to degenerate humanity and regenerate it. That's just its quality. It's the purge. Uh, it's the one that can purge things. It's the, it's the purifier. And so with that, we are seeing um, the original quality being de degenerated and we're seeing a new quality coming up, which is a generation that coming from like, well, the material that's already there, just speaking generally, the people that will be now on the right side. What I mean is hard to tell now who is who, you know, because um, there's a lot of sacrifices right now. It's like it's not but what they say is like well then you know the, the tables are going to turn the front will be the back the low will be the high you know that's what's going to be a trip and hang in for that hang in for that hang 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 tight for that because you may think that your entire life and and what you have been like for instance me and my music playing and um even that I've been here a lot longer than some of the residences here, a lot of them, all of them. <laughs> I watched 25 houses being built here. And <clears throat> see, you gotta become active in not just your community, but your neighborhood. And uh, where what I'm up against is finding out that, that there isn't a single mentality around me that, that agrees, that sees it. And, and if there is, there's certainly not caring for my presence here. And, and the thing is, it's like, well, I'm willing to put it up all on the table, what I've been doing here. Yes, I've been farming, and it's ideal to to come up with some kind of product to share, to live. What are you guys doing? I mean, see, I, I get approached at, by a, a, from a totally different angle, which are sociopaths and narcissists who, who just, they're like, what do you, they want to know everything about your life, especially you know they don't care for you if you don't make money that's the thing and the thing is is like yeah but you're a piece of shit and you can still make money i mean really you have vacated your intelligence most likely or it's hard right it's hard I'm not saying that i can't respect that really i need to make some money too there's got to be some way I, I love getting job i love doing that but see don't you feel like see I, I couldn't help but to notice and i've worked all my life really hard i've had three jobs at one time and you just notice that no matter how much um, of your good will and love, I, I can't say this all the way. There was one boss, and I tried to explain it on my other video, that took care of me because I was taking care of them, period, man. And it was genuine. It was just more on a soul level other than, well, I'll give you a bonus, but you did give bonus and stuff. Anyway, babes, I didn't need that much up here, and I still don't. When I say up here, I live in Idlewild. It's a small community mountain top on in the San Jacinto's. And, and getting back to, like, um, 
the delicacy of who we are, the that we can't compare her from one to the next. You know, mine is this life here, and it's like it's being, it's it's like I'm not about to um stoop down, and feel bad or or like I have done nothing with my I'm a nobody or to I know I'm a nobody, but what I mean is that I don't have anything to offer as just a presence being here. And I know that sounds stuck up or something, but what I mean is try me. The thing is, is it's it's been fucking hard the past three years. It's like a shutout. It's a community. It's a small community where we could take care of each other and say, hey, no, I understand you just want so many homes to... See, I was trying to put together something. Uh, I guess I need to just get my literature done better. I've written like a whole, what is fucking like a 9,000 page book. And I need to put an ad together just saying, look, man, anything and everything, just invite me into your space. If you're, if you're dissatisfied with what I do after an hour, tell me to leave. But you can hire me to do anything. For, it's all shit work, man. I'm just, how about this? I, you can hire me to do astrology. I used to do that. And um, I didn't see my, I was taught, <laughs> this might sound stupid and ridiculous, but no, we, the reason why you do astrology is to raise consciousness. And that's your payment. You bump into people and, that are that much more illuminated and, and aware. And that's your payment. You don't ask for money. Haven't you noticed I did? God, this fucking video. When I was a kid, I made sure I stayed out of school. <laughs> and so then on on the TV would come the infomercial, right? About advertising about a solution, especially they had a solution. Um and it's it's like a promising thing. It even tells you that you're uh that it'll solve your life. But some some little things though, really, um uh, like, you know, f f to solve something, but, um, and it sounds really like a promising, um, solution, but then at the end they say, and for nineteen ninety nine you can have this for you, and, and that's, for some reason when I was a kid, that was the sign right there that, oh, that's never, that's not a solution, but I shouldn't think that way, I mean, the real thing about, you know, people have not, don't even know the background of money, but they won't think anything's worth a damn unless they pay a lot of money. And, and having said that, don't, don't just charge $19.99, charge $1,900.99, then they'll really think, they'll just hold up that fucking toothpick holder and say, <sighs> And it's not even real diamond studded. It's just sequins, you know, uh, plastic. Doesn't matter. That's narcissist. You put a tag on it. You can't win that fucking shit. But you can join them.